Hello beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is Iris Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and I am a professional psychic and tarot reader. We are talking about new love today and the energy around new love for you at this time. And we are shuffling the deck. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus of Libra is the energy we are seeking at this time. Look at this. All right. Oh, your overall energy is literally an offer libra libra ace of pentacles somebody who has done a lot of work on themselves somebody who's very stable somebody who has a big fat offer for you oftentimes this is always when we look for engagement rings this symbolizes the part of the contract of engagement where you, they give the gift and and the promise this is the promise of a beautiful energy so we're going to put that right out there for you let's look and in the recent past libra the energy that you've had in love is a tower card it looks like there's been a breakup something that was not stable you've had an epiphany you know what you need you're willing to break down whatever it is that you need in love so that you can have something strong and beautiful with the ace of coins energy the current energy that you have is five of swords you know you're looks like many of you are going through a spot that just feels like it was thorny like really when am i you know this person looks like they have a headache and that's you libra you just feel as though you know people really sort of try to i think hold you accountable or you know it's sort of like the blame game in love and you're not having it anymore that that energy is something that is washing away when the tower comes down in the near future we have someone who comes in and apologizes to you I feel it's this person who is very shocking and very bold. This is Aries energy. It's very warrior-like energy. So you could have been involved with an Aries. Uh, Five of Swords energy is uh, Aquarius energy. Somebody who may think that they're enlightened, but they aren't. And the Five of Cups energy is very much Scorpio energy, you know, the way things end because people do things that are not helpful to the relationship. How you are being viewed at this time, Libra, you are single and ready to mingle, highly desirable. Everything about you is attractive to the world at large. Uh, everybody feels as though, you know, you don't need anybody, but a lot of people want you. You are very attractive. When we get the Nine of Coins and the Ace of Coins, we have the Ten of Coins, which is the Legacy Marriage card. So very interesting energy. You're really looking for the right love relationship, just not any love, any love relationship. The Nine of Wands, somebody has their fire, fire in their belly for you. You also have fire in your belly for making a relationship work the way it should. Uh, this is Sagittarius energy. You may be having an interaction with someone right now that um, I feel as though you're probably going to let this person go if you've let them go, but you still have fire in your belly for a new love relationship. Uh, I think this is a very exciting card because the nines are all about your mastery over your life. The way other people view you and desire you, two of cups energy, you are seen to have this beautiful, tender, sweet, kind, loving, soulmate kind of a persona. You're really attracting a soulmate. Uh, you're attracting someone who wants to love you best from their heart space, someone who'll be, who will be very true to you, true blue, someone who wants to walk through life holding your hand and really continuing to manifest this beautiful energy of a legacy relationship. What is hidden in your love life at this time is the energy of the Page of Pentacles. Somebody is there. They haven't made the offer yet, but they're about to take this offer, think it through, and offer that beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Again, Virgo energy, very strong in the reading. Spirit is recommending that you take no real action at this time. That is really self-imposed restriction for love. You know, you have some things to process. This is a lot to process. It looks as though you're not quite ready for a relationship immediately, but it does not mean that you're not will. Okay, so let me say this positively. You are willing to go out and date. You are willing to be open to meeting new people. You are open to possibilities, but 
you are not in the mood right now as you process this energy at the top of the reading, as you process that, you really are going to listen to the advice of spirit and you're not going to rush anywhere. You know, this is keeping to yourself, working through what's happened to you, assimilating that, coming into your power again in terms of relationship because this is, you know, this has shaken you a bit. The outcome card is the devil energy. So short term, we have uh, someone coming in, Capricorn energy. I believe that it's this person that you are rejecting, okay? I feel as though you're closing out this cycle very much with somebody who's been very manipulative, somebody who's been exceedingly attractive. They really knew all the right things to say and do, but they really didn't know how to be the right person. That has come into the open now, and you're starting to release this energy. You're letting go of this ability of this person to sort of be manipulative in your life. So your outcome card is a release of that energy not taking action with this person, not involving yourself with them. So we're going to go through the the reading here and we're going to really look very closely, Libra, at the new person. Again, sticking to new love. But we see that you've really, for most of you who are watching, gone through a process. Could be up to 17 months um, long uh, in preparation for new love. But you are really ready for that. All right. So let's see here. We've got this tower card. What is it about the tower card and new love that we need to know? Ooh, just stay in your power, Libra. You are single again, ready to mingle. You know, just really stay in that energy. You have a strong foundation and spirit is saying that you are attracting. Oh, look at those cards. You are attracting the eight of coins, somebody who is right behind you, hot on your heels. They want a new beginning in love, very strong Virgo Aquarius energy. Uh, they could have both of those signs in their chart. Hopes and dreams for love coming true. This is the enlightenment card, the beautiful new beginning card, both Aquarius energy with someone who wants to get to know you, get to know all about you. They are willing to just take that leap of faith and dive into the relationship. The five of swords is energy that you're really pulling away from at this time. You know, you've left that situation behind. It's still, I think, I think you still have days and moments when you stop and you think, oh, how could that person sort of be that way with me? This person that you're dealing with from the past is a lightweight in love. They really didn't have much to bring to the table. You know, when pigs fly, they wanted a victory. They saw you as highly desirable and well, of course you are. You're Libra, for God's sakes. You rule the house of love. You are the incarnation of the house of beautiful, stable love and marriage. The Six of Wands says that you are going to have a victory in love. It doesn't matter whether this person... Um, you know, is still pursuing you or not. You are really looking forward. You're being very practical. You know, we get the energy that people who are approaching you now are approaching you from a much more strong and very sound basis. This is Capricorn energy. People who are willing to do the work, people who understand what the work is. Again, a strong Capricorn energy is coming in. The Ten of Cups says that you will get your happily ever after Pisces energy. When we look at the Five of Cups and we know that somebody's going to come in and apologize, you're strong. You know, whether they come in and apologize or not is almost not even important to you. In fact, I feel that many of you will not even want to talk to this person. You know, you know this person is very manipulative. They're trying to stay in your energy, but you are shutting them out. It's beautiful. And so we get you in this beautiful Beautiful, the infinity symbol on your arm, having the strength, having the tenacity. You are attracting a very powerful Leo energy. The strength card is all about having the strength and the power and the courage of opening your heart, your chakra. The strength card is Leo energy. It rules the heart and it rules the house of romance and new love. So you have that energy. Nothing can take you down. Nothing can get in your way. You are simply not in the energy of permitting it to happen. The lover's card. Oh, you are seen as a soulmate by someone who has had recent disappointments in love themselves. So it looks like you could be dealing with uh, a Gemini energy. 
Okay, so this is Gemini. Uh, it also is about your person making a choice. What I'm seeing is that they've had a bad run of things. They're really looking at you as, as possibly the one, but you're not ready to make a decision. You know, you're very much standing in your power and Four of Cups says, you know, hey, I'm not there yet. I'll just wait and see. It's a, a wait and see attitude. You're going to study the situation. You know, you're watching what people do on social media just to see how they act operate in life you're studying something for enlightenment new love though oh that this person coming in is touching your heart even though you're not really letting them know that you are very interested we have the honey I'm home card fire in their belly this is a very strong Cancerian energy this is the Emperor driving the chariot as always the chariot could easily go off track but this person's very good at managing the everything that's needed to make a relationship happy and sound. Somebody who's really able to build a new life with you. Look at these cards, Libra. The Fool, the Ten of Cups, the Strength card, the Ace of Cups, the Chariot card, the Two of Cups. It is a profound, profound reading. All right, we see that right now you're going to keep your options open. You're still abiding by the principle. Even though you could fall in love very easily with this person, you are watching to see what their actions are. You are staying in the energy of just wait and see. You are waiting to see if this person is as strong as you think they are. We have the beautiful sign of Aquarius, the King of Swords, somebody who has their intellect, a very strong intellectual genius type style in their work life. And you are maintaining that energy along with someone else of being detached and yet very loving, kind of a wait and see attitude, being strategic in love, because you are going to avoid that that five of cups again you are just not going to go to that place the king of swords is all about sort of very loving very dr do little energy very enlightened and it really speaks to the fact that it's going to be a head over heart decision which is powerful a manifestation decision that comes with letting go the pain and embracing the happiness we have this beautiful page of pentacles energy here in, that's hidden in your love life. You and your person that you're coming together with are both at a crossroads. You've both had a very uh, similar journey in love. Uh, it really speaks to the fact that you have good communication. <gasps> Ooh, King of Pentacles energy. If that's not a pentacle, pentacle. If that's not legacy love, the King of Pentacles is not interested in anything but legacy love. It is Taurus energy. It's everything we value. It's home. It's hearts. It's everything that we've wanted. It is what creates the happily ever after manifestation and love. Spirit is telling you, go ahead, hold your own. You don't have to make any moves. When the time is right, the message is coming in, the Pisces message, you intuitively will know with this Pisces energy when the timing is right to accept the bouquet of flowers, to accept the beautiful love note, and to move forward in relationship. The devil card is still sort of hovering around um, somebody around you. I feel as though it was an old energy, somebody who wants to be very magnetic. And at the end of the day, what we're seeing here is a lot of cards spilled out. Here we go. What did I say? The nine of coins plus the ace of coins is a ten of coins. You are going to have a significant offer, a foundational relationship. This is three marriage cards right here. So we see you with someone who has stability, somebody who is Scorpio energy. They too have had the death of a past relationship. Scorpio is always about death. They too have had to kill off toxicity. They too have had to rise above the turbulent waters of toxicity to come into play with you with this beautiful 10 of coins and four of wands. This is the 1111 card. If you're in a twin flame relationship, Ship, you could come into ascension. For those who are not, you have all this beautiful soulmate energy with new love. Again, it could be any sign. These are energies, but you are going to manifest this love in the very near future. And as always, 
It has been a joy reading for you, Libra. What a magical, this is almost like it's payday in a way that you created the magic to have stability and love for yourself. Libra, Libra, my hat's off to you. You've done the work, you're moving forward. Good luck, Libra. Leave comments, please like, subscribe, share. I do answer the comments and thank you so much for joining me today.